Welcome to our lesson on simplifying an expression involving fractional and negative powers for AS Mathematics. So we're going to begin by considering 8 to the power of 1 third, where 8 is the base and 1 third is the power. To evaluate this, we're going to write it as a root, and this is the third root, the 3, comes from our denominator here. So this is the third root of our base, third root of 8, raised to the power of 1. And this one comes from our numerator here. The cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2. Now we can move on to 8 to the power of 2 thirds. Again, we're finding the third of a cube root of 8, but this time we're raising it to the power of 2, because 2 is now our numerator. We know the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. And finally, if we have 8 to the power of negative 2 thirds, well, the negative power, this negative here, means it is the reciprocal, or 1 over 8 to the 2 thirds. So we have 1 over 8 to the 2 thirds, which we know is 4, so this becomes 1 quarter. So these are the rules for fractional and negative powers. Now we're going to use these rules to evaluate the questions A to E. So for question A, we have 81 raised to the power of negative 1 quarter. The negative means 1 over, or the reciprocal, of the fourth root of our base, which is 81, and this is raised to our numerator, which is 1. The fourth root of 81 is 3, and 3 to the power of 1 is 3, so this becomes 1 third. So do you want to try and simplify 27 raised to the power of negative 2 thirds? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So 27 is our base. We have a negative 2 thirds of our power. The negative means it is 1 over. And this is the cube root because our denominator is 3. And this is then raised to a power of 2. So this is 1 over the cube root of 27, which is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So this becomes 1 ninth. So for question C now, we have 16x to the power of 8, all raised to the power of negative 1 quarter. So to evaluate this, I'm going to consider the 16 to the negative 1 quarter multiplied by x to the power of 8 to the power of the negative 1 quarter. So I'm splitting this expression up into 16 and x to the 8. So we know 16 to the negative 1 quarter is 1 over the fourth root of 16. And now I can use the power rule to evaluate this. And this becomes x to the power of 8 multiplied by negative 1 quarter. So now we have 1 over 2 multiplied by x to the 8 times negative 1 quarter is negative 2, so x to the negative 2. Now I can write this as the product of two fractions. So we have 1 half multiplied by 1 over x squared, which becomes 1 over 2x squared. Do you want to try and simplify the expressions in questions D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So just like with question C, I'm going to split this up. So we have an 8 and x to the 9. Both are raised to the same power of negative 2 thirds. So this becomes 1 over the cube root of 8 squared multiplied by, and now I can use the power rule, so x to the power of negative 6. So now we have 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over x to the 6. So 1 over 4x to the 6. And finally for question E. So the negative 1 half means this is 1 over 25x to the 6 divided by 9. All the denominator is raised to the 1 half. And to see why this flips the denominator upside down, I'm going to write it as a division of two fractions, where we have 1 over 1 divided by 25x to the 6 over 9, and this is all square rooted. 
And because we're dividing by fractions, I'm going to multiply it by its reciprocal. So it becomes 1 multiplied by the square root of 9 over 25x to the 6. I can square root the numerator and denominator. So we have the square root of 9 over root 25x to the 6, which becomes 3 over 5x to the 3. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.